Henry Alexander was an American painter born in 1860. The exact month and day of his birth is unknown. He was from San Francisco, California. When Alexander was young, he showed that he exhibited advanced skills in drawing and painting. In order for Alexander to develop his art skills, he left California to attend the Academy of Fine Arts in Munich. While there, he was taught by Ludwig von Lofs and William Linden Schmidt, who was a history painter. He received an education that would help set him apart from other talented artists. Alexander was most famous for trompe l'oeil artwork. This style began in Baroque period, which started in the 15th century. The technique of trompe l'oeil creates an optical illusion by using realistic imagery, rendering objects in three dimensions. He is also known for depicting people in highly detailed interiors within his paintings. One of Alexander's well-known works is entitled In the Laboratory. It was created circa 1885. He used oil on canvas to accomplish a 36 by 30 inch work. In this painting, Thomas Price, who is a chemist and an assayer, in his subject. Alexander represents Price in his daily life. This reflects his training in Munich as a still life and portrait painter. He is often recognized for painting men in cluttered offices filled with businesses, furniture, or laboratory equipment. Alexander also explored Chinese and Japanese subjects. He exhibits this in works such as Chinese interior and tea ceremony. His interest in various styles and subjects shows that his artistry has a broad range. After returning to San Francisco from school, Alexander left for New York City on April 15, 1887. Like many creative people, he felt New York City was the center of the art world. He moved into a studio on 51 West 10th Street. Many people have flocked to the city in order to gain more recognition and make better connections. New York City is seen as a place rich in artistic culture. Unfortunately, upon moving to New York City, Alexander struggled with financial issues and alcoholism. It was difficult for him to make money as an artist and there was an increase in competition in New York. Due to his financial burdens, he fell to alcoholism to cope with his situation. In the building where he lived, other artists avoided him since he always asked for money. Feelings of isolation could have also contributed to his use of alcohol. Eventually, Alexander's work gained recognition from the New York Herald. In the article about him, the newspaper regarded Alexander as one of the creators of the Martin School of Art. It was a great accomplishment to be mentioned in a well-renowned publication as well as being credited as one of the creators of the Martin School of Art. Many may have concluded that it seemed as if things in Alexander's life were taking a positive turn. On May 15, 1894, Henry Alexander took his own life. He was staying in the Oriental Hotel at Broadway and 39th Street. Alexander swallowed a lethal amount of oleic acid. Unfortunately, even after being mentioned in the popular newspaper, it did not change his financial situation. He still had money troubles which made him want to commit suicide. The New York Times reported on his death with an article entitled, Artist Alexander Commits Suicide. The subtitle read, Ends Life of Poison despondent because without funds. Many of Alexander's works were destroyed in the San Francisco earthquake of 1906. Unfortunately, this has impacted his legacy. In the laboratory is one of his most famous works that was preserved. It can be viewed in the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City today.